the good thing is now is is uh, he's got like he's under a conservatorship, you know. And it's not a conservatorship; it's a guardianship. Jackass has put me through fucking hell on fucking wheels for a year and a half. You know, it, like even bringing up Bam is just like a, a lightning rod of uh, you know, like controversy. Very concerned. You know what his career is? His career has been crashing into brick walls with his head. Yeah. <laughs> and. As a result of that, there's not a question if he's had brain trauma. The question is... Then I had to wake up every day with a handful of antidepressant pills that I would have to show paramount pictures that I took them and swallowed. Dude, rehab is just simply not for me. Keeping me in Pennsylvania, I couldn't leave if I left or else. I had to breathe in the sobriety link at three o'clock every day. And Dr. Knoxville said, you're allowed to take all that except Adderall and Klonopin. I'm like, well, who are you to say? This is what the doctors say I need. The history of Jackass, the TV show, is one that is not surprisingly filled with all sorts of controversies. From doing things for ratings that no reasonable person should, to legitimately getting hurt in regards to their cast members, and even getting so loaded on various substances that some of them had to go through serious rehab or even lost their lives. All in all, it's not a show that is praised for being good for the people, and this has only continued with the lawsuit of Bam Margera, who's gotten a small victory in his case against his former friends. We'll break it down for you, but before we do that, go ahead and do us a favor by leaving a like on the video, subscribing to the channel, and hitting the bell icon so you never miss an upload from us. And with that being said, let's get straight into the video. Do you want to win an iPhone 12? Maybe a MacBook Pro? How about $500 cash? All you have to do is comment the secret hidden message somewhere in this video. That's it. Oh, and leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel so we can keep affording these giveaways. Winner will be announced at the last day of each month. Thanks for watching and good luck. Number four. Bam's lawsuit in a nutshell. What this all boils down to is a lawsuit that Bam Margera went and filed against Paramount, Johnny Knoxville, and director Spike Jonze alleging that he was wrongfully fired from the upcoming fourth installment of the Jackass film franchise. Margera was fired in 2020 during production of the movie after allegedly testing positive for Adderall, violating the terms of a wellness agreement he signed with the film's producers, which is a critical part of this whole endeavor as we'll break down later. Margera has been in and out of rehab several times over the last decade. According to his lawsuit, Jonesy director Jeff Tremaine and Knoxville coerced him into signing the wellness agreement while he was in rehab in 2019 and said that if he didn't, he would be excluded from the Jackass Forever film. The suit claims that he signed the agreement without being given the chance to run it by an attorney. The agreement required regular drug and alcohol tests, as well as a prescription medication regimen, according to the suit. The suit alleges that Margera was fired after testing positive for Adderall, even though he's taken Adderall by prescription for 10 years. The suit even states that Bam has been victimized by the events and that he's well within his rights to try and get reparations for things. Paramount inhumane treatment of Margera cannot be countenanced. The suit states, Margera was made to endure psychological torture in the form of a sham wellness agreement, and then ultimately terminated for his protected class status due to his medical condition and his complaints about defendants' discriminatory conduct towards him. So yeah, not exactly something that the cast and crew of the movie and former show wanted, but there was a way for them to potentially get out of it, and that's what brings us to the literal progress of the suit. Number three going forward. The lawsuit was made by Bam as we just noted, but then the people he sued responded with a special motion to strike claims for unfair competition and copyright infringement under California's anti-SLAPP statute, which can bring an early end to frivolous lawsuits arising from the exercise of free speech on a public issue. The filing of such a motion pauses discovery in the dispute. In a tentative ruling issued before the end of the year, LA Superior Court Judge Robert S. Draper found the matter arises from the creation, development, release, and distribution of Jackass Forever, and it's in the public interest as a film to be distributed globally that has attracted further attention based on the party's legal dispute. But he also found Margera's claims have the minimal merit necessary to survive the motion and proceed to discovery. Draper found that Margera has plausibly alleged his talent agreement, which grants paramount ownership of anything he created for the film, might be void because he signed the wellness agreement under duress while in rehab approached with a take-it-or-leave-it proposition. The purpose of the SLAPP statute's accelerated hearing is to dispose of claims promptly that implicate free speech that clearly have no merit, writes Draper in the tentative ruling. Defendants might ultimately prevail as this case continues, but the claims have a minimal merit and plaintiffs should have an opportunity to conduct discovery to identify certain examples of orally developed ideas that were actually used in the film. But wait, there's more. 
The court also found Margera has shown a probability of success in his unfair competition claim, which alleges wrongful termination, discrimination, and violation of the Americans with Disabilities Act. Draper did strike the cause of action requesting injunctive relief, finding they're not recognized as causes of action in California. Regardless of that though, this means that the case will go forward, and that's something that obviously rings well for Bam Margera and not the Jackass crew because had the anti-SLAPP motion been approved, the case would have been done right then and there. Instead, now the case can go forward and certain claims by BAM will be tried, and that could not just drastically alter what happens with the fourth film, but what happens with BAM and all he's gone through. Number two, BAM went through torture. BAM over the last year or so has made a bunch of statements as to what happened to him on the set and in previous movies and the TV show. Margera went through several stints in rehab during filming, and he said the production team forced him to take a breathalyzer every few hours, take antidepressants in front of Paramount Pictures officials, and submit to taking drug tests regularly. If anybody cares about me, don't go see their movie, because I will make mine way effing ratter if you just Venmo me a dollar. He said, who the F cares if I'm drunk as hell or not anymore, he added. Jackass has put me through effing hell on effing wheels for a year and a half. I wrote them so many ideas, and if I'm not in the movie and they use my ideas, how do you think that will make me feel, he said. The last thing I want to do is be in a courtroom with Jeff effing Tremaine. I love him. Basically, it started off with, bam, you've been out there on TMZ being a jackass, and you're almost like a liability, the TV star said. I'm like, wait a minute, you're telling me I'm too jackass for jackass? I went to rehab for Adderall and alcohol, and I went there thinking I was going to do 30 days, but they insisted that I do 90 days, and I'm like, all right, is this on my bill or yours? Well, it's on mine? Well, all right. I don't want to do it, but I'll do it because you give me five million every time we do a movie or more. This is what the doctors say I need, Bam added. Then it led to suicidal tendencies on all 18 medications that I was on. I'm like, well, what's the point of a $5 million contract if you have to walk on eggshells and jump through your hoops, which is already impossible? What the F is the point of having the money if I'm not here anymore because I was going to die of a pillow or suicidal thoughts? It was the definition of torture. They tortured me. Margera said he was considering legal action. I didn't want it to come down to this, but I have no choice, he said, adding that he had been trying to make the film for 10 years. It's supposed to be a reunion, getting the band back together to pay our respects to Ryan Dunn. He's rolling around in his grave saying, why, Jeff? Why? And this in and of itself is the crux of the entire case, because if all of what he alleges is true, then that makes what happened on set not just a violation, but a dangerous workplace environment, something that no one wants to have right now. Number one, how the case might go now. So that's the question, isn't it? What will happen now that the court case might go forward? The immediate thing is that this could affect the release of the fourth movie, because the studio was planning on using the footage they already used with Bam in it, and this lawsuit is trying to prevent that, so that would affect the final cut, obviously. This would also heavily influence not just the payouts that Bam might get potentially, but how Paramount looks as a studio as a whole. They've had issues in the past, but to do something like what is alleged by Bam, that's not kosher at all. And more than likely, they knew that going in, but they went through with it if all of this is true. So while this may seem like a small step forward in the case, it's actually a large one. Because now, if nothing else, we're going to hear this case out, and that will change things one way or another. And there you have it, everyone. A look at the Bam Margera lawsuit and how things are shaping up, as well as whether the case honestly has merit. Do you think that this is the first of many victories for Bam in regards to his court case? Or once it actually goes to court, do you think it won't be able to hold up to scrutiny? Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the channel.